Hello, hello, Biohack here with another live arena video. First things first, as always, let's check Soul Merchants. Got a Ragash Soul, kind of interesting. Not gonna buy it though, definitely not. Not high priority champion. Yep, none of that we need. Okay, anything else to talk about? Uh, we've got the Fayhammer Titan event, which has started. I am definitely skipping this. Um, these Titan events are the biggest scam. They are so resource intensive. They're always engineered in the most player hostile way. They're, they always like kind of trick you into thinking you're gonna be able to skip certain events and then they'll just screw you completely if you try and be smart about it. It's, it sucks, they're always garbage. So I'm basically never gonna do these anymore. Every time I try, I regret it. Well, I say try, I mean, I wouldn't try if I wasn't gonna finish, but every time I do one, I regret it. I'm only gonna do it if the champion is super, super meta in EVP and Thor is not. Um, Let's see, other than that, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and jump to the fights. What's up, Nathan? I am doing well, how are you? Been having fun with these new, this new Marius build as well as Marichka, giving me some more strategic options, which is kind of fun. Kind of enjoying mixing in the kind of go second or sort of hybrid go second, go first stuff. King Cap is extremely pay to win. Got a very stacked account, but the gear is not the best, so we'll see how this goes. Good luck getting sheeped. Good luck on Crixia messing up. <sighs> you think I'm gonna use Crixia? Crixia is retired. Um You're gonna pull shards for Teox. First off, I already have two copies of Teox, and I hardly use them as is. And second off, no. I, uh, I'm skipping the summon rush event. No reason for it. Yeah, Deox right here. I'm thinking about seeing if I can get him in a, um, a stone skin build. Worst thing this player could pick right now would be... Fatalis and not Fatalis, sorry, uh Lazarius and EDK maybe. Gizmac and EDK. Gizmac and Seek Burn. Okay. Um Armons is in stone skin. Seek Friend is not. comes down to bans like super hard if he bans the georgid and i ban the seek friend he'll win if he bans the georgid and i ban the or if he bans the warlord and i ban the gizmac he'll win so who do we think he's gonna ban ah wrong call gg see is there any way we can pull off a win here i mean one option is to hope mesomel doesn't weak hit on the gizmac try and kill him that's very risky though the other option is to hope gizmac doesn't kill me there's a possibility Oh my god, I pressed the wrong key. That was dumb. I, I don't know what I was doing there. I wasn't I wasn't thinking. You gonna buy some prisms and go for Teox Soul? Uh no. The prisms are a scam. And Teox is not a higher priority enough champion for me to want to spend money on it. Uh, I'm gonna 
grab Narcy's. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab Narcy's and Crixia. The problem with this player... I mean, I don't know. Do we risk this? Maybe we... Let's do this right now. This player likes to ban... Um, my Kaja. And then the Warlord might eat a fear. From the Taurus. So since the Warlord's not in stone skin, we might need to use the Crixia. I might want to use Crixia and ban Armand. I'm taking Narcy's because this player likes to stack a ton of bolster and run... Um, This is going to just come down to bans. I have to ban the Taurus so that if he bans the Kaja... Okay. Well, that was a weird ban. Wasn't expecting that. Um, we still could get cut in on before the Georgia gets to go. Ugh, I can't wait to get him in the stone skin. All right. It's okay. We're all right. Uh, I remember you showed your Odin team with farming food. What role does Crixia play? Um, she puts up block debuffs on the boss so that he can't get the unkillable or the counterattack or anything else. And she also locks out all the adds so that they can't use their abilities. And she strips um, all the buffs if they do manage to get them up. She's, I have her stuck in form one. She never swapped forms. She just, she just puts up block debuffs and uh, decreased resistance. Um, I think he's gonna, he's gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab Crixia this time. second every time this this full fight okay so do i want to go arbiter yeah Let's see what's um He's, the scariest thing he could pick out right now would be like a Gizmak or something, but this player has never brought a stone skin mythical against me, so they probably don't have any. Uh, so I think the play is probably Georgid. Yeah. Um, Georgid. Bantaris. It's an interesting choice. So a lot of this is going to come down to whether or not um, Mesmel we hit the Rotos. Or not Mesmel, sorry, Crixia we hit the Rotos. But she will definitely do because she's a trash champion. But it's not in stone skin, so actually we're, we're going to be okay. Oh, I should have known that. Um... She did hit, we hit the Rotos. That's okay. I didn't see if she we hit the Ancora. It might not be the end of the world. Even if she did, yeah. I 
think I'm pretty sure I will get the Georgia to go. Oh, resisted. Bummer. Okay, we're going to go for... Ah, uh, I'm going to go for the Terminator boost. I think that's probably better than trying to push back. Nah, we'll do this. There's there's like a... It's a reasonably smart play to go for the Marichka and then A2, but... Um... All right, let's see if this kills her. If it doesn't kill her, we can reset with Crixia. So, oh, beautiful. We got the reset. I needed that. Um, Yeah, we'll just do this. It could have got awkward there with the Rotos. Not, um, he's got all his abilities back and the, what's it called? The, um, the Georgia would have A2'd and left him like with a bunch of health or no, like activated his path to have not killed him. I think I still would have been okay, but it would have been tricky. Uh, either way, there we go. Nice. So what is that? Two out of three? No, two out of four? No. Two out of three. Ah, yeah. oh, euphoria. Okay, we're gonna grab Armands. We're gonna grab Crixia because he has a super fast Crixia that can beat the Armands in the speed race if he bans the Kaja. I don't want that to happen. Since you're skipping the, the Thor Soul, what sort of event are you saving resources for? Um, uh, the biggest thing I'm saving resources for, I suppose, is... Uh, hold on, how do I want to play this? Let me think about this real quick. I think Talus is a tempting choice, but I don't know if he can get through the Lazarus. Oh, the Lazarius is in reaction and not stone skin. Um, I mean, we could go for a stall to stun, but then we'll get feared. Or not feared, we'll get counterattacked. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. All right, we're good at this. Um, I mean, I'm not saving resources for anything in particular. Like, I like to spend all my extra energy on Sand Devil mostly, sometimes 3x speed events. Okay, so I think we go for this ban. Watch a bunch of your YouTube stuff. Enjoy your approach to Live Arena. Thank you. Whoever used Rotos. Yeah, I use Rotos. I'm using it more and more that I'm running go second more often. So we can, because we have the Marius and Stone skin this time, I can opt not to do the increased defense and to just um, just attack right here. Ugh, I don't know though, because the Sippy might go before the Warlord, or the Staltus. Screw it, we'll just do this. Oh, she resisted. Ah, that's what I was afraid of.
Oh, whoops. I forgot he got locked out by the stall. <laughs> I meant to do his AQ. It didn't matter, but... Ugh! That could have been... Could have been close if the Staltus went first. I'm wondering if I should have um, turn meter boosted with the Crixia. Roto sucks. I wouldn't say Roto sucks. Uh, he just has a lot of counters. You have to be careful when you use him. Uh, let's do. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I need my Kaja to be faster so that the Shuzen can't beat me in the speed race. Although he could just ban the Kaja. Um, I should have turn meter boosted with Crixia or turn meter pushback. It, it basically came down to whether the Georgia beat the um, beat the. Whether the Georgia beat the... Not the Georgia. The Staltus beat the Lazarius speed race. I pick Rodos last mostly, but he's my by far my strongest damage dealer. Yeah, he's really good. It's just if you go into Harima or UDK, he, he's screwed. What's up, Lone Bamboo? I could have also maybe gone Georgia. Well, no, because I needed to... The reaction is what I was worried about on that. Um, That's... I'm going to go for the Frolny ban. It seems kind of weird, but I think the logic makes sense. Because Georgid kills Armands. Mezamel kills Wukong. And then he can't swap into the Galathir form because everyone's dead. And he needs to wait for the revive. Or he needs to revive instead. And then we can just nuke. We could run into problems if the Marichka revives the Armons with too much turn meter before the Mezamel can kill him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Daniel plays Euphoria's account a lot. I think he's a really good player. I think he's in top 50 or 100 in live arena. He's beaten Cruz in a lot of account. Nice. I don't mind. Oh, should we go for the kill? No. We can go for it next turn. I want to get the increased attack. I guess I'm not going to have the increased attack anyway. Well, no, we will. Because George is going to A... as long as Mesmel doesn't kill Marichka right here. But if she does, Georgia will definitely go before everyone else, so it doesn't really matter, actually. Totally fine. Okay, beautiful. Wukong's dead, so there's not really that much threat. Anyway. Cool. Alright, how we do? Three out of five? We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah, you can make Rodos work against Harima. It's just, you know, she's definitely a big counter to him. There's a lot of counters to Rodos, so you just have to be really careful when you use him. But he's really strong in the right scenario. Well, he had a 35 win streak yesterday until Doc won against him. Damn. How is your session? So far, so good. Was that on that Euphoria account? Yeah, it's a pretty tough one, especially with that shoes end being like 450. Okay, so he's going with the Marichka. Let's 
player as Harima, Tormund, Narses, Marius, Commodus, Gizmak, Georgia, Tiffy, Crixia, Galathir, Warlord, Marichka, Armand. It's a pretty stacked account. So, I don't want to play it. Maybe you should have banned the nice. Fuck it, dude. Never actually used the nice against me before. But to be fair, Gizmak would have been pretty much the same. Did you get the 10 wins in a row bad yet? Oh, 7 3, so close. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked. Ugh. All right, it's going to just 100% come down to whether Crixia can strip any stone skin. We need her. Ugh, only on the... Yeah. Fortunate. That means the nice probably can block revive me as well. I should have just banned the nice. In the past, I've been just grabbing Marichka against him in the opener. Which is probably what I should do. I mean, we could have also... I don't know. Could have also gone for a ban on the... I can't use Georgia. I need double stone skin penetrators if I'm going to do that. Have, have I picked first like once today? This is crazy. Player runs Taurus, Tormen, Duchess, Mithralo, Shuzen, Armands. Thought Nice was so bad when he was released. Now he's probably the third best arena champion behind Armands and Galathir. He's six, apparently, according to Cruzen. Yeah, it's. I feel like maybe Nice is just a champion that's like hard to use effectively. Um, because I see people say, like, oh, Nice sucks, or like all this stuff. Um, and I honestly just think that. They just don't know how to use him. Or they just don't have the gear. I think he's really gear intensive. But Nice is like one of the most difficult champions in the game to deal with for sure. Alright, well that's a good win. Nice, the most stat-hungry champ in the game. I don't know about that, but he is very stat-hungry, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to open Marichka Crixia. I kind of don't like doing this because it gives him the option to, like, run Galathir and shit, but I think if he gets Marichka, I don't have a good option. Rodos is way more stat hungry? No, Rodos isn't stat hungry at all. What are you talking about? Uh, Commodus is a crazy stat hungry champion. Bomb champion, I would say, the if we're being honest, the most stat hungry champion in the game is probably Shazar because he needs 100% crit rate, he needs attack percent, he needs accuracy, he needs speed. 
Where's Harima? Uh, I haven't built her yet. I'm waiting for the free regearing event. And I need to finish the leveling her. What do you mean Rodos is not stat hungry? He's not stat hungry. He's a very easy champion to build. He benefits from a lot of stats. Needs both HP and attack. He benefits from both HP and attack, but he doesn't need them. That makes him easier to build, not less, not more difficult to build. It means you have options. It means you can run either attack. Like, you can get value out of attack gear or HP gear, both. A lot of attack gear. He's, he's, it's like saying Crixia is super stat intensive because she needs resistance and accuracy. It's like, no, it's the complete opposite. She gets a benefit from both resistance and accuracy, which makes her even easier to build. He doesn't want to kill stuff. No, you're, you're like completely wrong. You're, you're like literally the opposite. You're interpreting his kit backwards. He's, he's easier to build because he, um, he benefits from all those stats. He has low HP or attack. He'll hit like shit. He's literally one of the hardest hitting nukers in the game. <laughs> um, it's crazy to say that he's stat intensive. Like every champion, if you want him to do well, needs stats. But as far as easy to build, Rodos is one of the easier. This guy just let me have Marichka into his bombing team. Shazar is probably the hardest champion to build. Most stat intensive champion to build. Especially because his multipliers are so trash. Every DPS piece you have that rolled into flat health is now not bad. Yeah. Faux show. Oh, nice. Got the Crixia. That was smart. You can't place the HP burn, though. I don't think this is going to nuke that hard. Let's find out. Oh, he's not even going to try and nuke. Okay. Two shards. He's already don't even use him because he's so stat intensive. Not even worth it at this point. His bomb damage is so terrible. Yeah. Nope, 100%. No! Oh, fuck. I wonder if I should have run. Hey, we finally get to pick first. If your support's 120k HP, Shazar can't kill him usually. Yeah. Going for Thor Soul? No. Those events are a scam. Uh, nice Commodus Tar, Siegfried, Galathir, Marichka, Armand, Shuzen, Odin. Should have totally run Fatalis in that fight. The last one. It's an Astaltus.
Um. Yeah, we have uh, Armands. What am I saying? I can do this. First time tuning in since the soul poll. Grats on your polls. Thank you. Why didn't her passive kick in and block the bombs? It was on cooldown from the opener. Honestly, I probably should have let Armands into that fight and banned um, Gizmak instead. Or nice, but probably, yeah, probably should have let Armands into that fight and banned Gizmak. Uh, I mean, we're going to have Lockout. Try it. Okay. Uh, that's certainly one way to play. is brutal yeah especially since armands is probably not gonna get to go before taurus kills him so it's probably not even worth wasting the revive here oh polymorph okay it's fine thanks taurus thanks bye day appreciate you Um, God, this is a tough one. I'm going to do this. I hope Kaja doesn't die to the, um, oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. And she got the extra turn. Oh, fuck. Really, dude? Relentless proc on top of it? Not that it would have mattered. I think we lost at that point. Oh, God. Shit is so hard. We are getting stacked of, like, accounts today. Everyone is... Crazy strong, and I have to pick second like every time. Uh, this player runs Tars, Lazarius, Hegemon, Seek for Narcis, Harima, Marius, Duchess, Valk, Makage, Kaimar, Galathir, Sippy, Shuzen, Armands. Uh, and I can't run go first because the Shuzen is faster than the Arbiter and they will ban the Kaka. But we can kind of run go first. We're going to pretend. Oh, I got Marius. Shit.
trying to think of like what I can possibly do here. Thinking Rodos. There a better option. Rotos is kind of weak to the Marius. I don't really have any good. I wish I had a Harima built in stone skin. I would pull in a stone skin Harima right now. I'm thinking, oh shit, well, it's got lockout. Um, I'm gonna go for the Mesomel crit rate buff because I'm gonna have to swap forms or crit rate aura. I'm gonna have to swap forms. I'm gonna get locked out. I'm gonna have to swap forms uh, with no buff. And Mesomel, I really need Mesomel to do the job here or it's not gonna work. I think that's the wrong choice. I think he should have extra turned the Marius so that he could. Um, Lock me out, the Galath here. Oh, shit. Galath here gets to go. Oh, that's so weird. Damn, he's taking so many more turns than me. That's crazy, dude. Oh, what am I saying? I can't even use Mesomel because of the the Marius is gonna or, yeah the Marius is gonna kill me. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm a dumbass. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see what happens after Marichka dies. That was brutal that he got that the Shuzen got to take three turns before I got to take one though. Yeah, it's just do we weak hit the Kaja? No. Oh, it didn't even um it didn't even do the attack. Okay. Good luck, have fun. Thanks, Darius. It's been a rough day, man. Yeah. That was shitty, man. That was hella shitty. We won four out of ten. Ugh. Tough opponents, too. Like, we were just getting hammered. Even low rated and lower rated people like Aiden here. Like, this account is stacked. Nice Cartman. I guess that's a pretty high rated they're about the same as me but um yeah all right well that's gonna be it for the recording there might be one more video that goes live before i go to twitchcon because i leave for twitchcon on thursday so you guys can keep an eye out for that actually i guess i'll, I'll probably stream tomorrow assuming i'm packed and ready to go um but yeah, then you won't see a few videos from me for a couple days. So that's going to be it for now. I'm going to keep doing some more on the live stream, but that's going to be it for the recording. See you in the next one.